We are at the Sherzad restaurant, which is located inside the Galadari Hotel. So, one thing we were quite disappointed about the dish in general was that the, um, the shawarma was really small. It was served with a side of french fries and pickles. Um, so basically the, the, the sandwich, uh, it had prawns, uh, fish. It, it sounds like an odd combination but it actually went well. It didn't actually give the Arabic uh, hint. There were no uh, sauces that uh, outstood. There were no pickles of sort inside. It was a very, um, it, it was pretty much like a seafood um, sandwich and we weren't disappointed but it did not reach the standards of a genuine shower. So we are at the Lebanese restaurant and it's right down Marine Drive. Um, so at this restaurant we have, um, we've decided to try out their classic chicken shawarma. Also to note that they have a wide range of uh, different shawarmas from beef to chicken to an open platter to the sandwich, cut down, anything you wish. It's pretty much like your shawarma paradise I would say. Um, also the sandwich, the chicken was well marinated and according to the chef he would not want to disclose anything about the secret recipe, the flavors and everything. He also mentioned that spices were brought down from Qatar especially. This is probably the most um, original shawarma so far we've tried. So we're here at Arabian Nights which can be found down the Gaul Road um, opposite the Fab. It's known for its authentic Middle Eastern cuisine. Um, more importantly, we got the opportunity to try three different shawarmas. The first one being their most, the local's favorite actually. It's the uh, spicy Syrian uh, shawarma. We had the Dubai style beef shawarma. It, uh, it was pretty much more like an authentic uh, street food shawarma where you find the french fries, the pickles, the exact amount of the sauces, so it just went well in hand in hand. Finally, apart from the natural, uh, the Arabic cuisine, they've also offered us a Mexican style uh, shawarma, which is one of the latest Arabian Nights creation called the Chicken Mexicana. So we are at the newly opened Odell Promenade. Uh, so this place is where you get a bunch of restaurants and of course the most famous bubble tea and uh, we decided to drop by and have uh, to try out the new flavors. After trying out so many shawarmas throughout the day, we obviously needed something chilly and cold especially due to the really really hot weather. Um, so I'm trying out the um, narang and lychee black tea with the uh, popping bubbles. Uh, apparently it's one of their fastest selling uh, drinks. You should definitely pop by and try out the range of new drinks at Mabrok. So we're at Hadramal, the Arabic restaurant you find down Dean's Road, and we've decided to come and try out the chicken shawarma. Um, so the shawarma was quite different than the rest we've had because the bread they used was not necessarily the Arabic bread, but it was more like the um, the Indian naan, which gave it a nice uh, kick towards sandwich. Um, the chicken was very, it was well marinated. However, despite the vegetables and things you find inside, they did not use the conventional garlic sauce. It was more or less uh, cocktail sauce with the ketchup and the mayo. Uh, all in all, it was pretty interesting, but I, we expected more, especially since it is an Arab restaurant and it's specialized in that. Uh, but it was all right. So we're at Bliss Lounge uh, down Duplication Road. We come here to try out their lamb kofta sharma. When the dish arrived, uh, we, were, we were quite surprised in terms of presentation. It was it was very interesting. Also, the fact that the, the sandwich was quite um, it was it was large. The portion was huge, especially for for one person. Um, along with the sandwich came a portion of fries and not to mention the fries were actually hand cut and fresh so that was like an added point it wasn't just your frozen french fries the sandwich in general um, it was the it, 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 can, it had everything you would look for in a shawarma you know the french fries the pickles the, the vegetables and the bread and along but this time they had the uh, lamb kebab and Side instead of the shredded chicken so it wasn't exactly the um, original meat you put in a shawarma it was more like the natural flavors of the meat and the vegetables that just gave the um, they gave it an interesting twist 
So we're at August by Mama Aida's, which you find down Dudley Saint and I from Malta. Um, so when it comes to shawarma, we decided to go with both a chicken and a beef. But something that stood out in this place was it wasn't. It it was completely different. You know, it went with a very modern twist. Um, in terms of the chicken and beef, it was they came up in separate plates. It didn't come with a salad, neither did it come with the sauces. They had to be ordered separately. But you got the choice of choosing a particular bread or a platter of bread. So we went with an assortment of breads from pita to crispies to um, Arabic roti and all that, alongside with the um, with the meat. Um, speaking in terms of flavor for the meat. Uh, both the chicken and beef shared contrasting flavors, and uh, all in all, it was a really, it was a brilliant experience. I think trying out so many sharma throughout the day and coming to this was it, it's, it's overwhelming, and it's it's pretty amazing.